Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is check for children some property in a binary tree and it is a medium level problem. So the problem basically says that for each node, its value should be equals to the sum of its children, right? So the sum of its children means the sum of its direct children. For example, this is 35. Then this value 35 should be equals to the sum of its left child as well as right child that is 20 plus 15. Similarly, for 20, it should be 15 plus 5 and for 15, it should be 10 plus 5. Now, if this property is violated for any of these nodes, we have to return 0, otherwise we have to return 1. Now, uh, there is only one exception. For example, if you are at the leaf node, so for example, this is the tree, this is the root node, these are two leaf nodes. So, leaf node does not have any child on the left as well as on the right. So, in this particular case, leaf nodes are exempted from this particular condition. Right. So, if, if we have a leaf node, then we can return true. Otherwise, we will have to check what are the left and the right nodes. So, the problem is very straightforward. What you can do is, you can just call your DFS function or any traverse function and pass it your root. So, DFS function will give me the answer for the current node. That is, it will tell me whether the subtree starting from this particular node satisfies all the conditions or not. Right. Now, I can call when I reach the root node, I can call the same DFS function on the left as well as on the right half. Right. When will this particular node return true to its parent? It will only return true if the left child has returned true. That means the property is satisfied on the left child. The right child has returned true. That means the property is satisfied on the right child as well as the current node satisfies the property. So, how can we check whether the current node satisfies the property? We know what is the value on the left, we know what is the value on the right, we know what is the current value. So we need to check V0 should be equals to V1 plus V2. If these three conditions are satisfied, that the left subtree is valid, right subtree is valid and the current node is valid, that means this whole subtree is now a valid subtree. So this subtree can return true. So now this way, each individual node can tell whether they are a valid uh, subtree or not and each node will pass this particular information to their parent and eventually my root node will return whether the tree starting from this particular root node is a valid tree or not according to the given conditions. So this is exactly what you have to do here. It is a simple recursive uh, question. So you can clearly see I am just returning whatever my DFS returns on root node. What is my DFS function? First of all I check if my node is null pointer or this second condition is satisfied. What is the second condition? My node left is null pointer and my node right is null pointer. This basically means I am currently at a leaf node. So if my current node is null pointer or I am currently at a leaf node, I am just going to return 1. Right. Now I am going to get the answer for the left subtree as well as the right subtree. And now I am going to calculate the sum. So what is the sum? Sum is basically, I check whether node that left is present or not. If it is not null pointer, I am just going to take its data. Otherwise, I am going to take 0 in place of it. If node right is present, I am going to take its data. Otherwise, I am going to take 0. This is how I can calculate the sum of the left and the right child respectively. Now, if this left and right are true, that means the left subtree is valid, right subtree is valid and my node data is equal to my sum, I am going to turn true. So this is just a simple return statement. This whole Boolean expression will be true when all of the three conditions are satisfied because I have a AND in between, right? So this is how you can solve this particular problem. And at the end, your DFS of root will give you the answer whether the subtree starting from the root is a valid tree or not, right? So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is absolutely correct. So you see this passes all the test cases and this solution is correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then do consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and we will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.